Good morning, Phoenix Bonsai. It's September 20th, 2020. Um, we've already had our two September meetings. A meeting and a workshop went great, had a great turnout, did the social distance mass thing, and uh, it was great to see everybody's uh, smiley faces. And if you weren't there, you were missed, and hopefully we'll see you soon. At the meeting, a couple of members were talking about their poor quality water and uh, we're asking about reverse osmosis water so I thought I'd do a, a quick little video about what works for me um, and maybe that'll help you guys with your your issues I can't take credit for this idea I learned this from uh, Jenna and Ken Roberts when I first became a member um, and this is one of the first things I did uh, and I I've never looked back so hopefully this will give you some uh, uh, some good ideas anyway uh, some people have them inside their reverse osmosis system in the garages or what have you. I have mine outside. Here's my uh, barrel where the water fills in there. <clears throat> There's a float in there so you can see it's running. Once it reaches a certain height uh, or depth or fullness, it'll automatically shut off. This is the unit itself. Uh, it's not really big. It's, it's the Eliminator 200. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but it's pretty cool. The Eliminator. Anyway, uh, those two black things are filters. They're carbon filters, and then the uh, uh, membrane runs across the top. It's got a little pressure gauge that tells you when uh, you can backwash these. When the pressure gets a little too high, you can backwash them. Um, I change the filters twice a year. I put my one of my little crazy tags there to tell me what, what to do. It's got three lines going into this. It's got the supply line. It's got the waste line, which runs out to a, a dry well that I made outside. It's quite a long run on mine, about 30 feet. And then that little blue line is the feeder line going into the barrel. It's fed by my hose bib here. I just put one of those little Ys on there with the little shutoff valves. This is the line here. You get this at the same place, SpectraPure and Tempe. I have the contact information. You can Google it. They're easy to find. Very nice people. They'll set you up. Um, let me see. So this works for me because my water is, uh, is of such a poor quality. I get water spots on my leaves. My pots get crappy and the silica salts and everything else starts wicking up the trunks. So how I do this is I, I use these watering cans, which I'll, I'll give you a little heads up on that in a minute, but I just take my two gallon watering can, I dunk it in the barrel, and that's it. I got two gallons of water ready to go. Um, I like these watering cans for a, a number of reasons. One, the hole is very large, so I can put fertilizer in there and mix it with my hand. And more importantly is this in watering can lingo is called the rose okay and typically people will use it like this I turn it up and I'll show you why I like this watering can because this just comes right off it's not threaded it just clicks on whoops <clears throat> it just clicks on and you're ready to go you can also see what I did was I I used caulk and I covered up all the holes <clears throat> with the exception of the, a row of three in the center. And the reason for that is I get the water where I want it to go. It's not spilling on the sides, all over the pot, where on the bench, it goes right where you want it to go. And it creates this uh, soft, but very adequate amount of water coming out. You can get the foliage wet on you know, the cool mornings or cool afternoons, if there is one. Someday we'll have cool afternoons. But you can really cover a lot of ground and uh, it flows well and you can see what you're doing as opposed to having it turned up the other way. This is the name of the manufacturer of that particular watering can, Blohm maybe, it's German. They make a number of different watering cans. The flex glue is what I use to close up to, you know, cover up the holes. Um, I got mine on eBay, but Amazon has them, eBay just just look for the ones they have one that's threaded you don't want that one you want this one that pulls off um, and I think that's it uh, the important thing with your system is the waistline you you don't want it to run um, at the base of one of your nice landscape trees or bushes you want a little spot that's kind of off by itself where you can run the water because it'll get too wet and it could kill your trees 
Um, that's it. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you got a little something out of this. This helps you. If you have any questions, you can find me in the book. So uh, God bless you and yours, and God bless America.